Welcome to San Miguel day two. All of the parking close to the waterfall was full. So now I have a little walk from the provisional parking lot up to the waterfall, but it's a really beautiful day. And even though I'm breathing hard on this walk, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> I think it's just holding this camera and stuff up that's causing me to breathe so hard as if I was doing a really strenuous hike. <sighs> okay, I got my ticket and it turns out that interestingly, if you want to swim, it's eight euros. And if you are just visiting, it's three euros. I was planning on swimming, but I forgot my bathing suit and I'm wearing a white bra that just would not hold up well, I think in water. And so I am just visiting today. I think this is the first thing in San Miguel that I haven't been that impressed by. I was expecting more of a waterfall rather than a waterfall. Just to be completely honest, not super impressed by this place. Would you come running if I called you and give me a helping hand? Would you come catch me if I fell down towards a bitter end? You wanna talk about it You couldn't live without me You know you had your chance It's over So just go on I don't wanna care anymore There's no more Between you and me So just go There's no This church is magnificent. I feel like this is a very appropriate setting for me to express just how blessed I have felt. Not hashtag blessed, but like truly blessed to have had this fall to work remotely and travel and explore this island that I didn't even know about a few months ago. I just feel so happy and thankful to be here right now. And it just truly does feel like I was supposed to come here because like I said, a few months ago, I didn't even know Sao Miguel existed. This was the last spot that I planned on my trip. I literally just did a little Google search to be like, off the beaten path, locations to visit in Europe, something like that. This came up as some place that like a lot of tourists from the US and other places aren't aware of yet. I was looking at photos and it's just like, ooh, if I can make this work, I really, really, really have to go there. And somehow it did all work out and I'm here and it's so beautiful. I'm just so happy to be here right now. It couldn't be a more gorgeous day. This is my last stop before I return to the US. And I'm so grateful that it's Sao Miguel and it's just as beautiful and even more beautiful than I imagined. And it was such a worthwhile stop. And I'm so glad I did that Google search and happened to come across this. I've said it many times, I know. I've been walking down for a long time. I can hear people's voices in the distance, but I still haven't even gotten a glimpse of the lake. So hopefully this is the right way because it's gonna be a long walk back up. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet, they settle down beneath my feet. I'm able to vlog while driving because we've got a little traffic jam. <laughs> the cows are being moved from one field to another, so there's just a line of cars going about maybe one mile an hour behind all these cows. Since I have very little time pressure right now, I'm completely fine with it. <laughs> oh my gosh, they stretch on so long. We just turned a corner and now I can see, woo, there's a lot of them. I have no idea how long it's gonna take for them to get off the road, but we will just be patient because this is hilarious. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while It's day three and I'm in a garden and I have found cats in the garden. I can tell it's gonna be a good day. If you didn't know, I love cats. I'm a crazy cat lady. 
to the max. You're gonna be my friend. The cats are everywhere. This is officially the garden of my dreams. I feel like I'm on an Easter egg hunt, but instead of Easter eggs, the prizes are little cats. They're all over the place, but not like in an infestation way, in like a little cuties everywhere in the garden, just kind of popping up where you least expect them. They're so beautiful and handsome and wonderful, and this is the best garden I've ever been in in my life. Besides the cats, it's also really, 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 really incredibly beautiful here, but I mean, there are a lot of beautiful places on the island, but this is the first place that I've seen cats. Okay, I'm taking it slightly too far. Like the crazy cat ladies are like, a step above, maybe I'll just dial it down a notch. Like, yeah, yeah, the cats are cool, like, whatever. Ooh, I know you tried so hard. Ooh, I know you've done your part. It's not fair. You did your time. How much longer will you suffer in this life? Today is my day of making animal friends. Here's Bessie, got my cat friends over there in the garden. Just a good day for hanging out with animals. Just hold on tight, it'll be all right. All your life you've tried to be a good man inside. Did everything that you thought you should This is my only home This is the only sacred ground that I've ever known Destination is ahead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31